What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over CSES distinct numbers. Um, I was going to go over the next problem on CSES, but uh, those problems get extremely difficult and I thought this was the, the next easiest one. So yeah, but we're just going to do this one. It's distinct numbers. It's in uh, the first problem of sorting and searching. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this problem is not hard at all. So that's why I wanted to go over this. And bear with me guys, my throat kind of hurts right now because uh i'm kind of a little sick so yeah so you're given a list of n numbers and your task is to calculate the number of distinct values so yeah um so here in our input statement we have five two three two two three so if i were to uh take this and draw it out for you guys it's not that hard at all um, yeah, so like let's say we have this and uh, we have this input statement. Okay, so this input statement is five. This is the size of our array, and our array is uh, two, 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 three, two, two, three. Okay, so yeah, so given this array of two. Three, two, two, three. We want the number of distinct values. So, essentially, what that means is like the uh, no duplicates in this value. So, if I remove all the duplicates of all the elements here, so two is a duplicate. So let's remove that. Uh, this two is also a duplicate. Let's remove that. Uh, this three is a duplicate of this three. So let's remove that. So in the end, we're just gonna have elements two, three, which is the size of this, which is just gonna be two elements. Right, there's only two numbers here, one, two, right? So that's why the the result would just be two. So to do this problem, all you have to do is uh, read in the array of two, three, two, two, three. And then what you're going to do is you're going to insert it into a set. So once you insert into a set, the set basically just removes all the duplicates in the list. And then uh, all you have to do is print out the size of the set because the size of the set is just the size of the set, which is just the number of distinct values in the list. So the code looks like something like this. So yeah, um, yeah. so I created a array called x, and then I have a read in n, which is the number of elements in an array. And then I have a set called g, and then I just loop through the, loop through the array, and then I, each time I read in the array of x of i, starting from zero to the number of elements of the array. And then each time I'm gonna insert the current element into my set, and then after that, I just print out the size of my set, g dot size. So g is my set, and I just print that out. So yeah, um, that's essentially the gist of the code. There's not much to it. Um, this is long, long. LL means long, long. And uh, yeah, that's just what it means. But yeah, I don't have anything else to do with this. Uh, this problem is really easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll go over the other introductory problems later. But yeah. As those problems are, I, I, in my opinion, those are harder than this. But yeah, very comfortable. Subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.